Now we have some missing number, addition and subtraction problems for multiples of 100, that is numbers that end in two zeros. First, 200 plus something equals 500. So we can see that we don't have any tens or ones, and whenever we have a missing number in an addition, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. 500 minus 200 is 300, and that makes sense because looking at our hundreds digits, 2 plus 3 is 5. Now 700 plus something equals 900. So here we can do the subtraction and we get 200 because 7 plus 2 is 9. And now 400 plus something is 800. Our missing number is 400 because 4 plus 4 is 8. So now on to subtraction we have 900 minus something equals 500. So here it's the second number of our subtraction that's missing. So we can still use subtraction to find our missing number. 900 minus 500 is 400. So that's our missing number and that makes sense because 9 minus 4 is 5. Now 200 minus something is 100. If we work out 200 minus 100 is 100, so that's our missing number. And finally, we have 600 minus something is 200, so our missing number is 400. Using base 10 blocks, here we can see that we start with 200, and if we add 3 hundreds blocks, that gives us 5 hundreds blocks, or 500 altogether. And there's 700 plus 200 makes 900 altogether. 400 plus 400 is 800. 900 minus 400 is 500, because if we start with all 9 of our hundreds blocks and take away the 4 that are in red, we're left with 5 hundreds blocks in blue, so that's 500. 200 minus 100 is 100, so if we start with 2 hundreds blocks and take one away, we're left with 100. And 600 minus 400 is 200. So if we start with 6 hundreds blocks and take 4 away, we're left with the 2 hundreds blocks that we can see here in blue.